vi moje oši ne. Hai! Ale o nandeska! Sini mame! Gokanyo! Kamu kau kaku um Godzilla, nangku baku tet desuetasi, Ronu. Takashi Hansuare, Dai! The first special effect we used was creating dry ice fog. When we added a chunk of dry ice to a container of water, the fog started to pour out. Dry ice is the solid form of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a covalent compound. Dry ice also undergoes the phase change called sublimation, which means that it will change from the solid state to the gas state without becoming a liquid. We use the dry ice fog to demonstrate Godzilla rising up from the depths of the earth. The next special effect we used was creating slime. We made the slime from a goo made of borax and polyvinyl alcohol. This mixture added with green food coloring mixed to create the slime. This green slime we used for Godzilla acted as the slime coming off of his body. He also used this slime as a weapon to throw at his enemies. The next special effect we used was creating explosions. We first must generate hydrogen gas by reacting zinc and hydrochloric acid. We added a few squirts of hydrochloric acid into the test tube with zinc. Then we used the rubber stopper to contain and direct the gas into the egg. We filled the egg with hydrogen, added hydrogen gas, and then we lightly placed tape over the top of the egg. Then we positioned the egg on the ring stand, removed all glassware and flammable materials. Then you placed the match on top, of, the lit match on top of the egg, and we blew it up. This acted as a grenade that the police tried to stop Godzilla with. The final special effect we did was creating colored flames with the Bunsen burner. We positioned Godzilla in front of the Bunsen burner so that from an angle it would look like Godzilla was actually breathing fire. When we, after we lit the Bunsen burner, Miss Matthews sprayed the flame so that it would flare out and it exuded a fiery red glow. <laughs> 